Hi, I'm Dave Dirtz. Welcome to Advanced Fighting Systems. If you would please uh, subscribe and hit that little bell down there for notifications that you'll be notified when we're shooting a uh, new video. And right now we're in the process of shooting 30 to 40 new videos that are going to be coming out. So that way you'll be notified. And plus leave a comment. And, and I'll check out your comments. And if you need or want me to show you something, let me know and I will shoot a little video for you. So what this video is about is trapping range. And one more thing is check out our rat videos. We have a stand up. We just came up with a brand new one, ground fighting rat. Let me tell you, it's really excellent. It comes from a different point of view, something you've never thought of, something you've never seen before. It ain't straight grappling. Remember, we are on the street. We're concerned about the street. And one more thing, check out a little short martial arts movie we did called Swift Kill 2017. Uh, we're just having a good time shooting a martial arts video. We're going to shoot a couple more. So if you would, please check that out. And always hit that like button. Always hit that like button. Okay, so this is about, what we're going to discuss here is trapping range. In a fight, you have four ranges. So you have the kicking range, which would be your longest. You have the boxing range. You have trapping range from here. Then you have the clinch range or the ground, whatever you want, want to call it. And no matter what type of fighter you are, them ranges are there. You may be a boxer, and that's it, but them ranges are still there. I mean, because somebody could kick the boxer or vice versa. But anyways, the purpose of trapping range, I see everybody sitting there and they're thinking, I'm out here in a fight, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in and, and trap this guy's hand like this and come and hit him. No, 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 no. Not at all. Remember, everything we do, we've taken ideas, maybe just a thought, a training method, this and that, from different things, whether it's Kali, whether it's Wing Chun, whether it's Savat, whatever it may be. No, the purpose of trapping is how I look at it, it's your backup tool. All right? If you screwed up in the fight, you are going to be in trapping range, or you are going to go through trapping range. So what I mean by screwed up is, let's face it, we don't have, everybody don't have a good day. So what I mean by screwed up, unless you're out here in the fight and you hit this dude, where it's a figure strike, kick him in the groin, take, and you take him out, you're having a good day. Drop to your knees and thank Lord God Almighty, because you're having a good day. But what's the odds on that happening on second half? Boom! And the fight's over. So when the fight ain't over, when this guy throws a punch, or vice versa, what happens? You're going to end up in trapping range. Trapping range is from here inside. Okay? And the purpose of trapping range is you've got every tool on the human body that you can use. In boxing, you have your hands. Kickboxing, you have your hands, your feet. Grappling, you have your grappling. The trapping, everything from the headbutts to elbows to the knees to the to the bite to the choke to you know to using my butt to using my shoulder to all kind of things all right but the purpose of this this is a backup tool so i'm not looking to trap so in other words if i didn't end this fight and i hit this guy in the face boom what's his hands going to do they ain't going to grab his groin they're coming up so i hit him and his hands come up so trapping doesn't mean that I always say he parks out and locks out and grab, but trapping his hands are up. They're in the way now. Now normally a boxer would still be punching, and the punches are rolling off of what? The hands. So we want these clean blows. So what we do, we take these hands out of the way. One way or another, we take them out, and then we put it on a tool, which is an elbow, which is a knee, whatever it may, may, may be. So trapping range is really a backup tool. And let's face it, 99.999 fights end up in trapping range. They may not stay there, but they do go through it. So with that being said, that, we, that is our playground. That is our playground where we play at because we understand that's where the majority of the fight's going to be if you ain't having a great day and you take the person out with one blow or you're going to go through it. If a guy comes running at you and grabs you, takes you straight to the ground, you went through trapping range. 
to get to the ground, you had to go to it. But it is a backup tool. And so we understand that, and we are, we understand we are always going to be there most of the time if we don't end this fight. So we want to be the best. We want to be our playground. With that said, if you would please subscribe, hit that little notification button, like us, check out Swift Kill 2017, and check out our rat videos. Happy training.